Hey guys, so the cards in, it was a little difficult because the, here I'll get a flashlight, the uh, release pin is right in there, the little blue spike right there. Um, so my fat finger, that's not really fat, but I um, could barely get it. Also, I put my 9800 GTX in that slot right under there for comparison. Uh, bad idea. I couldn't get it out with my fingers because there was like 16th of an inch of room. So I found a really skinny screwdriver and I popped it out. So, next time I want to test something, I'll put in the second slot down. Or the third. That one right there, in the middle. Um, so it's actually half an inch shorter than my 9800. And I will actually grab it for a sec. And show you guys. Ah, oh, shit. Um, so, multitasking, holding a camera and flashlight. You can see, actually it's a, yeah, it's about half an inch to three quarters of an inch shorter than my 9800. Um, and to prove this is a 9800, there it is, 9800 GTX, but it is a plus at the end. Um, but, it looks good, it's black, I wish I'd had the red stripe on it like these stock coolers do, but, yep, beggars can't be choosers. So, talk about our deal. Well, we got post. That's good. We'll see how far it gets. <laughs> well, it's booting, so... Let's see if the fan's on. Just to make sure. Yes, the fan is running. Card looks great from underneath. Too bad I can't have it like uh, in Dell cases where the motherboard's on the other side. But that would create a, quite a pain. So, yeah, there's air coming out the vents. So, all is good. Boot it up, let's uh, log in. And then I have the drivers right on my desktop, so it shouldn't take too long. Nice and hot out. It's like 100 degrees, but it's only supposed to hit 83 because of the humidity. Um, let's see. Turn the fan on. It's really hot in my room for some reason. It's probably just me. I don't know. I do not know why it's taking so long to boot in today. I don't know. Me. Oh, it's probably trying to install the drivers automatically. Probably. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick to that one. Uh, yeah, it is. So, let's see. Now, this will not focus on anything closer than this. Only because it doesn't refocus once uh, it's set to focus on something else. Let's move this headset. My friend wants to come over to, uh, later today. He's like, dude, you're getting a 5800 series? I'm coming over. I'm like, oh, all right. It's fine with me. Now, where to put the driver? It should be... Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. I'll give it a sec. And then we shall start the installation now. Run. Yeah, this camera's not the best. But it does the job. It doesn't focus up close on text on text on the screen but yeah you can all see that that says install and I can't hit a button with my left hand so this is the latest version uh, I forget what version it is I'll show you once it starts up it is you can't read it 10.6 looks like but we'll see so next install Custom. 
Yep, that's what I'll be downloading, so I'll let you guys know how that is. I might do a, hmm, USB filter driver. Calus Control Center, Lord of the Rings free. Nope, don't want that. Don't want that crap. Um, no, nope. Okay, install, accept. I have that game, Mind Warfare 2. Don't have that, don't like that kind of gameplay. RPG, MMO, whatever the heck it is. Don't have that. I don't like what they've done with Age of Empires. Don't have that. <laughs> I don't know where I put it, never mind. I don't know if any of you know how to fix. Actually, I had that game. Uh, I don't know how, if any of you know how to fix this problem. I don't. I don't have to worry about it now. I hope. So I changed. You know how you can go to the Nvidia control panel, and then there's the. Uh, you can set up the settings per program, or just a global setting. And as soon as I hit apply and I went in game, uh, anti-aliasing wasn't working at all. Um, no matter how I put on 16 times in Battlefield and all it did was kill my performance and still not do AA. Um, yes, I'm going to reboot now. <clears throat> but um, no matter what I did, I restored everything. I deleted everything. I used Driver Sweeper. I used Revo Uninstaller Pro. Nothing worked. Um, I think it was the 257.21 patch. Uh, if any of you haven't had this problem, uh, you can try rolling back. I didn't do it simply because the new card. So uh, I just put up with it for four days. You know, Assassin's Creed looked like crap with it, with no AA. But um, so if you, any of you know how to fix that, or there's no AA at all in any game. Yeah, sorry, it took a while. I have Assassin's Creed disc in the uh, DVD drive, so I tried to read it. Um, if any of you know how to fix the problem with the AA not showing up, once you try and change the f settings, that'd be great. Because um, my friends experiencing the same thing. Stupid little me went and told them, oh, look, you can customize it, you know, per program. And he tried it, and he's having the same problem. But he's not upgrading anytime soon. Um, so... Also, I was considering getting a uh, Prolim Prolimitech, or Prolimitech, however you want to pronounce it, Mega Shadow. I don't like the uh, Mega Halums, only because it's not black, and yeah. But, let me know what you guys think about that. So... Oh, we have full resolution. It looks good. Login was definitely faster. Now that there's no driver to install and no NVIDIA control panel to load up. Let's see. Right click. And yes, we do have Catalyst. Right there. It won't focus on it, but that's okay. Now, this is going to be great. I'm glad it showed up so early. Uh, the uh, My graphics card. I have a LAN party on Friday night to go to at my local church. Um, we're just doing, you know, uh, Delta Force Black Hawk Down. Uh, what else? Call of Duty 2. Not the big red one, just Call of Duty 2. Um, let's see how this works. I want to, I got to rerun the uh, Windows test, Windows experience test. See what I get now. Should be at least 7.0, which is what I had before. Apparently the 40, the 5830 performs in DirectX 11 like the 4890 does in DirectX 10s. So, excuse me. Um, we shall see. Oh, I wish. Yeah, right. <laughs> so that I'm like, ooh, 